I had two dreams last night, brothers and sisters. The first one was I saw the world full of water. There was no land, nothing. It was just water. And I saw a giant wooden boat sailing. And um, inside the boat, I was shown a glimpse of animals, different species, both male and female. And I saw eight people. I have reason to believe that I saw Noah and Jesus Christ showed me that. I had another dream that I saw a city. It didn't look modern. You could tell it was from the past because it looked like a castle and other buildings near it. Like some type of um, just large structures made of concrete, made of stone. And I saw the Lord Jesus Christ standing, talking to Abraham and fireballs coming from the sky destroying the city. I believe that is a part in the book of Genesis where Abraham says, um, Lord, if there's 50 men found righteous, would you destroy the city? Remember when Abraham was bargaining with the father, was negotiating with the father, just asking. He was asking the father that. And the father said he would. And Abraham went all the way down to 10 and the father said he would. The bottom line is Sodom and Gomorrah ended up getting destroyed because of the wickedness that was abound. Um... I also saw what looked like Israelites being delivered and there was an older gentleman leading them with a staff that was Moses. And then I heard a voice say, Israel is the apple of my eye, the promised land, promised to my people, the Israelites. I will restore Israel, but before I restore Israel, I will destroy all rebellious nations that come up against her. That's in Joel chapter 2. I heard a deep Mediterranean manly voice saying that to me. That was Jesus Christ. I had no doubt about that. You will find this in the scriptures. Ask the Lord Jesus Christ to uh, confirm if what I say to you is true. With that being said, I find it ironic that people call Israel a war criminal nation, murderers. You know, they're, they're no different than the same Pharisees that betrayed Jesus Christ, you know, that was jealous of Jesus Christ's miracles, that said Jesus Christ was of Bezobah, which I rebuked that spirit in Jesus' mighty name. But Jesus Christ is the true living God. So you have these sick people calling Israel a murderer, a war crime, but all Israel is trying to do is survive and be a foreign, na a sovereign, sovereign nation, excuse me, and defend themselves. You see, when Palestine attacks Israel, this is how evil people are. And yes, that includes you people that 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 uh, believes Israel is a war uh, criminal regime. It's okay for you people to overlook what Palestine is doing to Israel. You see, Palestine always starts the attacks with Israel. Israel doesn't start it. Palestine starts it. Okay, so when Palestine starts to attack Israel, they throw rockets, they kill their people, they're increasing and inciting violence in Israel now, attacking innocent Jewish people, innocent Jewish citizens. Nobody says anything. Nobody says a word. It's how evil this nation is. This, this country, these people in this world are. Nobody says a word. Okay, when Iran is crying death to Israel, nobody says a word. When Hezbollah, the sworn enemy of Israel, is is um, supposed to receive very dangerous nuclear weapons, and they're enemies of Israel, and Israel bombs Syria to stop those shipments, nobody says a word about Hezbollah transport, um, waiting to receive those weapons, knowing no doubt they'll use it against Israel. When Israel defends themselves, it's a crime. But when a nation attacks Israel and they start it, it's not a crime. Everybody overlooks that. Everybody overlooks it. It's okay for Palestine to kill Jewish people, innocent ones, men, women, and children. It's okay for those bastards to keep firing rockets into Israel. You could say that I cursed, excuse my language, I'm full of righteous anger. The Bible mentions the word bastard. You can agree or disagree, look it up yourself. The word simply means rebellious. In one context, it also means not just an illegitimate child out of wedlock, but it also means a rebellious house. You can look it up yourself. But 
pardon my language. I'm full of righteous anger right now, and I ask the Lord Jesus Christ to please forgive me, but I think it's very sick. If you people support a nation, break any curse over me, Father, in Jesus Christ's mighty name I pray. If you support a nation that attacks Israel and is always starting to attack them first, but when Israel defend themselves, you call Israel a, cr uh, a criminal. That's evil. That's sick. Israel has every right to defend themselves just like any other nation. Israel's lands was promised to them by the Lord God, Jesus Christ. And Israel's trying to preserve that and trying to defend themselves. So Israel's not the criminal here. It's Palestine. It's Iran. It's Russia. The United States backstab Israel. Russia doesn't care about Israel. Russia's only in the Middle East for their economic interests. They want to control the oil reserves there. Everybody knows that. And Russia wants to be the new dominant power as well. Russia is more powerful than the United States. We already know that. But I'm not going to deviate from the topic. Israel's not the crime, the criminal here. Palestine is, and any nation that comes up against Israel. Let me tell you something. The Lord God Jesus said, if anybody destroy, comes up against Israel, he is going to destroy you. You are messing with the wrong God. You're messing with God. It's a suicide mission. Israel is going to remain a nation. We know that Israel is going to be um, going through trials for a time. We know that Israel is going to be sent back into the woods for a time. It has to happen in order for Bible prophecy to be fulfilled. Um, we know Daniel 9.27 is going to happen. We know that that's going to usher in the seven-year tribulation. We know that during that time, Israel is going to be scattered. But let me tell you something. The Lord God in the latter days is going to restore Israel. And he's going to destroy all nations that come up against Israel. The Lord God says he will destroy any nation that comes up against Israel. So Israel has a right to defend themselves. Palestine is the criminal here. The Lord God never promised Israel to Palestine. Palestine's not even a nation. That's the nation of Esau. That nation is for Muslims. They have some crazy ideology, some crazy belief that God promised the lands of Israel to Palestine. That is not true. Palestine is a nation of the devil. Muslims, Islam is a nation of the devil. It's, it's a religion of the devil. Do not mess with Israel because I'm telling you right now, Jesus Christ will destroy you. If you don't believe me, go ahead and try and watch what will happen to you next. I'm not talking to all these. I'm talking about anybody that comes up against Israel. Do not mess with Israel. You are messing with the wrong God. Jesus Christ is real. He will wipe the floor with you. Don't mess with God's land. Don't mess with the apple of his eye.